it's about just creating a conversation. Um, but more than that, it's about participating in a conversation. Well, when you look at the story of Dorothy, she, in her, in her real life, she's confronted with an obstacle and she wants to be a heroine, but she's unable to. Uh, so she escapes into the dream world where she's able to, uh, where she's able to be the hero. In virtual reality, we are attempting to do the same thing. At least, some people who feel impotent in some areas of their lives create avatars or more perfect versions of themselves. They can be exactly who they want to be, that is what Dorothy is in the Land of Oz. A more perfect version of herself. Yeah, well, I start with the digital image and then I force it into an analog form. Uh, and I try and just see where that where the image goes. I'm using a visual medium that embodies what analog does. I paint on wood paneling. I use wax, a very fluid medium. It's a very analog medium, uncontrollable and unpredictable. And then I'm marrying that with digital. I create my images on a computer and they're made to look very overprocessed. From there, I start to play with the analog and digital media and I try to cycle them through each other. I start with the digital image and I force it into an analog form. And I try to see where the image goes. It starts out very crisp, digitally perfect, but the final product always takes a new form because of the unpredictability of the media. Okay, so I think my paintings for me sort of address VR, virtual reality, um, in the form of dreams. So, you know, the earliest form of virtual reality for humans was in their imagination or their dreams. They were trying to realize alternate realities that were beyond what they were experiencing in their real lives. Dreams are a combination of things, a corruption, a compression, and a reorganization of memories. It is analogous to what's going on during transcoding. During the transcoding process, information is being corrupted, compressed, and reorganized. Glitches during the transcoding of information are like computational dreams, digital dreams. So, I think that when I play with the analog and digital, I'm marrying our world with the digital dream world. Okay, here's what I think is horrible about my paintings and why it fits with technology and the horrible. I think the aesthetics of the painting draw uh, from the idea of dreams, draw this idea that, that the language of dreams follows a completely different logic than our, lo our waking self logic. And... So when you're in a waking state and you're viewing these images, you are confronted with corruption, compression, and the reorganization of memories. There is something wrong. The painting is corrupted. There's a different logic to the imagery we're not used to seeing in our waking lives. And uh, it's just, it disturbs the mind because it's not what you're expecting. I don't know. It's not. It's, it's not, not what, what you're, you're expecting. expecting. 